Cars 3, Taken by Storm. The racing season was in full swing, and Lightning McQueen was tearing up the track. But one day, a rookie named Jackson Storm came out of nowhere to take the checkered flag. After the race, Lightning congratulated the new competitor. Hey, Jackson Storm, right? Great race today. Thank you, Mr. McQueen, said Storm. You have no idea what a pleasure it is for me to finally beat you. Oh, thanks, said Lightning. Wait, hang on. Did you say meet or beat? Storm gave Lightning a sideways glance. I think you heard me. Everyone was talking about Jackson Storm. Who is this mysterious newcomer? Chick Hicks asked analyst Natalie Certain. And why is he so darn fast? Natalie was an expert in race and efficiency. Jackson Storm is part of the next gens. They're the next generation of high-tech racers, she said. Jackson Storm continued to beat lightning in race after race. Another easy win over old Kachow, Chick Hicks said during an interview with Storm. Or should I say, Caboose, because he's always in the back, am I right? No, 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 Chick, Lightning is a crafty veteran champ, said Storm. He's the elder statesman of the sport, you know. Racing fans cheered for the next gen as he headed for his transporter truck. Storm, said one young fan. Can I get an autograph? Jackson didn't stop, slow down, or even look at his fan. Not now, he said. I've got places to be. Storm spent as much time as he could training on a racing simulator. That's six straight hours on the sim, Jackson's crew chief told him. What do you say we mix it up? Nah, I'm good, replied Storm. All right, his crew chief said. Then let's go watch some film. For what? To see myself win again? Storm asked. Meanwhile, Lightning McQueen traveled to Thomasville, Doc Hudson's hometown, to prepare for his rematch against Storm. He would train with Doc's old crew chief, Smokey. Since Lightning needed a training partner, Smokey asked Cruz Ramirez to stand in as Storm. Cruz was an aspiring racer who was training Lightning. To test Lightning's handling skills, Smokey released a herd of tractors. Be quick or be trampled, he yelled. Later, at the local hangout, a commercial starring Storm came on the big screen TV. Storm smirked into the camera. My igniter liquid adrenaline will make you faster than lightning. Lightning cringed. No way. Back at his racing headquarters, Storm was still busy training. The other next gens were in awe of him. They wanted to learn the secrets to his success. You're amazing, bro, said a fellow racer named Danny. Can you give us some tips? Don't interrupt a champion while he's training, replied Storm. Then the day of the big rematch arrived, the Florida 500. Everyone was waiting to see if Storm would take first place again. Reporters and photographers surrounded him. Over here, Storm, shouted a photographer. Give us that championship smile, said another. Lightning McQueen will be racing today, said a reporter. Are you prepared to take him on? Storm laughed. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the competition. Chick Hicks cornered Storm for an interview. How are you feeling, champ? Better than ever, said Storm. I'm here to win, and that's what I'm going to do. A reporter called to the next gen. Can I get a picture? Sure thing, replied Storm. Sorry, Chick. 
I gotta cut this short. Let's get you and one of your fans together, said the reporter. Storm drove up to the young fan who had tried to get his attention before. It's your lucky day, he told him. You must be excited to finally meet me. Not anymore, said the fan, and I don't want to be in your picture. <laughs> your law, said Storm. I got to get to the track anyway. Just then, Lightning McQueen drove by. Enjoy your last race, said Storm. Hope you can make it past lap 20. Lightning paid no attention to Storm as he zoomed onto the track. All the racers started scrubbing their tires and doing laps, waiting for the green flag to drop. When the race began, Lightning skillfully made his way through the pack, gaining on Storm. Suddenly, some of the racers crashed into each other. The yellow flag came out, signaling to all the cars to move off the track. Lightning pulled into the pit and turned to his team. Get Cruz out there. I want her to finish the race. Without a second to lose, the Radiator Springs gang went to work. In the press box, Chick Hicks was shocked. I've never seen this before. Unbelievable, said Natalie Certain. For once, I have no predictions for how this is going to turn out. At first, Cruz felt nervous. Lightning, now acting as her crew chief, reminded her of their training in Thomasville. Cruz started to race her heart out. Eventually, she caught up to Storm. He saw that she was nearing the wall, so he slammed her right into it. Cruz gathered her wits. She knew exactly what she needed to do. She forced her tires up onto the wall and flipped over Storm. When Cruz came back down to the track, she was in first place. Storm crossed the finish line behind Cruz. The crowd went crazy. Storm looked on as Cruz and Lightning celebrated. He couldn't believe he'd been beaten by a rookie. In victory lane, Cruz was surrounded by the press. You came out of nowhere to beat Storm, said a reporter. How'd you do it? I learned from the best, said Cruz, smiling at her friend, Lightning.